Hi, I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com and today I'm making a budget-friendly beef stew for a cold winter night because uh, that's where we're at these days and uh, it's I, we actually have some sunshine today it's stopped raining it's been raining for, for days atmospheric rivers anyway so uh, this is going to be tonight's dinner and I'm doing it in the crock pot so I want to get it going because it, you know it's going to take about six hours and I think it's about 11 um, I might even put it on high just to make sure it gets done. So what I have here so far is I have a pound of ground beef a, and two, uh, approximately two pounds of some lean steak. Uh, they were fast fry steaks inside round, 30% off. There's nothing but beef and beef broth in this stew and it can vary by whatever else you're going to add to it. You can make this uh, keto, you can make it ketovore, and you can just leave it as is and it'll be 100% carnivore. And it's a very satisfying meal to have. Um, I make this actually, you know, often. So, and you've probably even seen it in maybe one of my um, what I eat in a day type videos. So today is going to be ketovore because um, I'm going to add to this version spicy taco base from Keto Chow. Uh, some, this is one of the ones that uh, Nina sent me from Discover Sustainable. Um, but there's other options if you don't have this. I mean, I don't normally have this, so that's why I want to try it out today. What I normally use is this. This is keto bone broth, a uh, spicy keto bone broth. So this actually makes a good chili base and you're also getting uh, some protein in this. You're getting, let me see, this is like a single serving pack. Where's the protein? Da, 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 10. So uh, the keto chow has, ay, ay, ay. It has uh, 24 point something. So, you know, more protein in here. There's also this Organica. I'm giving these choices because I'm Canadian and I know how hard it is to find things to bump up the flavor in, in Canada. This I, you can get off Amazon in Canada or at most grocery stores. And it contains 15 grams of protein you can also use a scoop of this beef bone broth. I believe this is also available on Amazon. Uh, I buy it from iHerb where I buy some of my other products. And it has 28 grams of protein. So the advantage of either of these two is that you don't have to add any more spices or seasonings to make it kind of a chili. I guess I'm going, I'm going for like a meaty Texas chili, you know, where there's no beans and tomatoes added. It's just meat and spices. And probably this won't be overly spicy because I'm just, normally I just add one packet. And in today's case, I'm adding this one packet. It's, it's all I have. So I may later when I taste it, you know, add a little bit more chili powder or some cumin, you know, whatever I think it might need. So uh, this is my first time using this one, so I don't even really know what this is going to taste like. If you go for a route like this, where you're just adding some bone broth powder to get more protein, you'll definitely want to spice it up if you're going for a chili uh, type meal. For liquid, yesterday I made some uh, I had to cook some beef and I actually had to boil it for a recipe. So I'm, I'm just using my left, I saved the leftover, whatever this is called, the cooking water with beef. It's got a little bit of fat too. Um, that's gonna go in too. Nothing gets wasted. So anyways, I'm going to just go and quickly fry this up in my frying pan at the stove and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my meat cooking, my hamburger meat, 
And I'm going to cut up the steaks. Uh, they're very thin little steaks, and I'm just cutting them up into cubes, basically, bite-sized pieces. Not as big as I would if I was making a stew, you know, something a little smaller, um, because this is, this is uh, chili. I'm just going to be, uh, I'm just going to be brave and call it Texas chili. And uh, hopefully nobody from Texas will get after me because I'm using keto chow in it. <laughs> but that's okay, I mean, you know, I'm doing what I'm trying, I'm doing my best to, uh, to stay keto here. So, uh, December is a long month for those of us with special dietary needs. We have lots of things to overcome, you know, office parties and company and other people eating and, you know, apparently they can eat anything with, without it affecting them. So it is what it is. I was just trying to get the excess moisture off of these. When I see meat like this on sale, I usually grab it and throw it in my freezer because I know I'll use it for something like this at, at some point. And it's, it's so nice to be able to run down to the garage where my, I have a, an upright freezer down there and, and I can just, uh, you know, grab, grab and go. Um, for whatever it is I'm making. And, and making a stew or a chili or a soup, you know, anything like that, is fairly easy when you're ketivore because it's mostly meat-based and uh, that's what we're doing here. It's very satisfying though. It's a, a, good, a good satisfying hot meal. Okay, so. I've got my crock pot here. <laughs> Hang on, let me just rearrange things here. And my, I can hear my beef back there cooking away in the frying pan. This is a true dump and go situation. Okay, so here's my meat, and I'm going to dump it into the crock pot. And I'm going to dump my liquid into the crock pot, and my keto chow. Oh, it smells amazing. All right. Okay. I'm going to find the lid for that and uh, turn it on for six hours. I'm gonna actually turn it on high and I'll be back to show you what we made. Okay, I am back. It's dinner time. It is smelling amazing. The whole house smells like this soup or stew or whatever we're gonna call it. Uh, so I'm going to tell you about a couple of things I did. Um, I've had it cooking in here. Uh, it was on high for most of the time and I just uh, I turned it to low probably about an hour ago. It's five o'clock and uh, it's it's more than ready so I'm going to have some now. Um, sorry I just got distracted by the dog. What are you doing over there? You? Um, it is smelling amazing. So but when I tasted it it, uh, it needed just a little more uh, seasoning. I, if you recall, I put in only one pack of the Keto Chow Spicy Taco 
with about three pounds of meat and um, a couple of maybe two or three cups, I think was in that container of leftover broth. And so it just wasn't quite enough. Uh, I think I needed a little bit more. Uh, so I, I put in some onion powder, about a teaspoon, a couple of teaspoons of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin powder, and a teaspoon of uh, smoked paprika. So those are all s spices, seasonings that I, I enjoy and they don't seem to affect me in, in that kind of amount. So I'm ready to try this. And of course, every time, every time I'm ready to do something, I have to open the door for the dog. He's ringing his little bell. Just scoop some out. It looks really good. So it's it's quite saucy. So it's uh, there's a lot of sauce here. I've got some buns over here. I'll use a couple of these uh, Hawaiian roll buns. Um, these are the ones that I've made from Carnivore Angel site, so I will um, link that video below. Uh, I, I used it. I was I was experimenting with the ingredients a bit, and uh, the original was better than what I was tweaking. So uh, I'm not even going to tell you what I did to it. Um, but here's the here's the soup or stew or chili, whatever whatever you want to call it. Um, it, uh, it smells really good. Let me just give it a try. Mmm. Yeah, it's got a lot of flavor. Um, so, I mean, maybe I could sprinkle some grated cheese on top or some sour cream. That would be great. Um, I'd probably be happy to just eat it like this. So, um, so I just wanted to share this easy dinner option with you. Uh, budget meat, budget friendly. Uh, perfect for a cold night like tonight. We we had no rain, so there was no cloud cover. So we've got uh, we're gonna probably have freezing temperatures overnight. I can feel it now. With the the door is open there for Teddy to come back in. So um, yeah, it's uh, uh, it's gonna be one of those nights. So anyways, uh, I will let you go so I can eat this wonderful dinner, and I'll see you on the next video. Hey everyone, I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com. Scrap everything up to this point. Take two. There's nothing but beef and beef broth, or sorry, beef and, yeah, that, that, that. There's nothing but beef and beef broth in that. There's nothing but beef and beef. Take two. I am Anita.